So one of the challenges of these remote twinning programs where people are, you know, thousands and thousands of kilometers separated, they haven't met each other in person, and, you know, they're communicating through email, through Facebook group. I definitely wanted to have some in-person contact to be able to fill in those gaps. I, I've never been here. It's my first time to cross the ocean and even to leave the continent of Africa. I got to learn new ideas from my peers because they have nearly all the hospital in their back. They have to go and run to uh, home to conduct home deliveries. To me it's a little bit strange, but uh, taking the service back to the people, down to the grassroots, is something one can appreciate. So the purpose of the reception was to inform members of parliament and stakeholders about the progress with the program and it's an opportunity for them to come and see really the work that they're empowering uh, CAM to do. Everything is possible. Social then can achieve the same you know, equipment, the same human resource capacity when they put more investment in health. So Sudan, uh, because of the low resources, they cannot do it themselves alone. They need, you know, international counterpart to, to give aid, to make sure that uh, the health system is strengthened. It's for humanity, and something for humanity doesn't need to stop. We need to be generous. Thank you.